Welcome to another video. Today, what we will be doing is performing a full breakdown on a pair, both from a technical and in order flow perspective, to understand what kind of swing trading opportunity we can actually be looking for on the pair. And by the end of the video, you will know exactly how you can be applying the same concepts to your own trading plan and obviously trading strategy. Now, if you're new to the channel, I'm a top author on a trade review platform and I share free education and analysis on all my platforms daily. So I really suggest you subscribe to the channel so you won't miss out on all this free education and I will see you in the video. The pair that I want to speak about today is AUD CAD. Now, why do I want to speak specifically about AUD CAD? For two main reasons. Number one, it is very near to provide to us a very good trading opportunity. And number two, the analysis that I will now perform on AUD CAD will give you guys a lot of free education and value that will immediately make you a better trader. So that is why I also want to make this analysis because I'm sure that it will be very educational. So the way in which I will structure the analysis as usual is first looking at the monthly, weekly and daily timeframes from a technical perspective. We will then go and see what we have from an order flow perspective, checking the commitment of traders. So what hedge funds are currently doing in the market and obviously by being able to read what hedge funds are doing in the market, we can gain an advantage over our competition in the market. And then we will go and see what we have on our entry time frame, which is the four hours, which is the time frame on which you can find the best risk to reward opportunities. So let's start our analysis from the monthly time frame. Now on the monthly, what we can see on the monthly, we can clearly see that the market has now created a beautiful W formation. Now, after a W formation in the market, what do you want to see? So if a market creates an impulse, a correction, a lower low and a higher high, what you want to see is the market give you a nice move to the downside to go and test the previous resistance, which is now turn support, which is the completion zone of the market of the pattern and of the market in this case. And in this case, so where we are currently seeing this W formation, the neckline is clearly at this area here, because as we have just said, we have a move to the downside, retracement, lower low, higher high. So the previous resistance, which is now term support, is exactly this area here, which is our downside target from a monthly perspective. Also, if this monthly candle will close with this shape, we can expect the next monthly candle to actually fill in this wick. This is a pattern that you will see over and over again. And keep in mind that this monthly candle is only one day and eight hours away from closing. And if it will close with this shape, we have very good probabilities that next month AUD CAD will be bearish. So that the market will give us a nice completion of the pattern by filling in this monthly wick, which is definitely something that I am looking forward to. Going down on the weekly, what do we see? Now, from a weekly perspective, as we have said already in our previous analysis on AUD CAD, the market had created a nice triple top at this area, testing this resistance here, again here, and the third time lately with this test here, rejecting the area to the downside. Now, in rejecting the area to the downside, the market also created a pattern. In fact, the market created this M formation. Now, after an M formation, what do you want to see? You want to see the market give you a move to the upside to go and complete the pattern at the previous support, which is now turned resistance, which is exactly what the market has done with the next candle. In fact, as you can see, this green candle went to complete the pattern exactly as we expected. And going down on the daily, we can clearly see this pattern in action. In fact, also on the daily, we see the exact M formation. But before I show you what we have from a daily perspective, let's first recap all the times that we spoke about AUD CAD lately. In fact, we spoke about AUD CAD when the market was here and I, I created an analysis explaining all the reasons for which from here we wanted to see this move to the downside. And that is exactly what the market did. Then I created another analysis when the market was here, explaining all the reasons for which from here, I wanted to see the market create this move to the upside and then create this lower low. And again, that is exactly what AUD CAD did. 
Then again, I made, an, I made another analysis on AUDCAD explaining all the reasons for which from here I wanted to see the market create this move to the downside. And again, that is exactly what the market did. And then again, we spoke about AUDCAD a few days ago explaining all the reasons for which from this area here I wanted to see the market create this move to the downside. And again, that is exactly what AUDCAD did. So up to now, the market followed exactly what we wanted to see. And then again, I created another analysis after this move to the downside when the market was here. And I explained to you guys all the reasons for which from here I wanted to see the market create this move to the upside. And again, that is exactly what AUDCAD has currently done. And I will link all this previous analysis in the description so you can go and check it out for further reference and more free education. You find everything linked in the description, all this previous analysis, go and check it out because it has a lot of free education in it. And what is the next opportunity that we have at the moment on AUD CAD? Now, before I show you how we will be approaching this situation with students, let's first go and give a quick check at what we have from a COT perspective on the AUD and on the CAD. So what hedge funds are currently doing on these two currencies. Just a quick reminder, make sure you comment below and you let me know which pair or topic you would like me to cover or analyze in the next video. Starting from the AUD, we can see that net positions have massively increased. In fact, we went from having minus 40K net positions. So way more shorts than longs with 67K shorts and 26K longs to a situation where currently we have the complete opposite. So 60K longs and 44K shorts. So way more longs than shorts with 16K net positions. So definitely the AUD is very strong. So that is something that we have to keep in mind. The AUD at the moment is strong. If we go and see what we have from a CAD perspective, what we can see. Now on the CAD, we can see that we went from minus 33K net positions to minus 18K net positions, meaning that clearly net positions are increasing, meaning that hedge funds are shifting their positioning to the long side. In fact, if we see here, we went from 19K long positions to 23K long positions. And if we look at the shorts, we went from 53K net positions to 42K net positions, meaning, sorry, net positions, shorts, obviously I mean. And what we see here, so is that shorts decreased from 53 to 42 and longs decreased from 19 to 23. I think I said net positions, obviously I meant long and shorts. And shorts, as I was saying, increased from 17 to 23. So what we see is that hedge funds have been adding longs and closing shorts, meaning that the CAD is strong. And that is good for our analysis. However, as we will now see, the AUD strong is not good. Why it is not good? Because after an information, okay, and the market had already completed the information, we would like to see the market create a continuation to the downside specifically. Because from a monthly perspective, as we have just seen, we want to see the monthly candle get the wick filled and the market start this nice move to the downside. Because on the monthly, we have two bearish patterns, the W formation and this candle here, which we expect the next candle to fill in the wick. So we have two bearish patterns on the monthly. On the weekly, we do have resistance and we expect a move to the downside, plus we have the triple top. And on the daily, we have an F formation which just completed and also created an impulse and a correction. And after an impulse and a correction, we want to see the continuation to the downside. So monthly, weekly and daily from a technical perspective are showing a potential move to the downside. However, we see that hedge funds still haven't added shorts on the AUD. Specifically, they have added shorts, but they had they added more longs than shorts. So that is not good. So how we will be approaching this kind of situation with students. Now, obviously, we need to see proper confirmations. There are still not enough confirmations. However, this pair has very good potential for this move to the downside. So how we will be approaching it. Now, the monthly, weekly and daily timeframes combined with the COT data are the best timeframes when it comes to the direction of the market. But the best time frame for entry is the four hours. And on the four hours at the moment, what do we see? Now, from a four hour perspective, at the moment, we don't see any sign of weakness. Everything is extremely bullish. And until this will be the case, the market will easily continue to the upside. So at the moment, obviously, we cannot be looking for any shorts. However, 
this might change in the future, considering that we are inside of a very strong resistance area. And on the monthly and weekly, we would like to see the market create a continuation to the downside. So what could happen inside of this area is that hedge funds start adding shorts, in which case we will see that reflected in a new report that will come out. So what we will be doing is with students simply monitoring price action from a four hour perspective inside of this area, waiting for the market to shift from a bullish market as it is right now to a bearish market. And only if and only if the market inside of this area will shift from a bullish to a bearish market and we will see proper bearish price action showing that hedge funds are adding shorts on the AUD and we will see that reflected also in the COT data. Only at that point we will add AUD CAD on watch list for students and as soon as the market will provide to us one of our valid entries, we will be taking a nice short with a very good risk to reward and very good probabilities at that point for the move to the downside and completion of this impulse correction and impulse pattern to the downside. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you smash that like button and comment below. It really does support the creation of more free education and analysis for all of you. Also, make sure you go and check out the mentorship program. You find the link in the description. You first learn all the rules of my rule based strategies in the program and then you trade them live with me. Each and every day you get a new daily market breakdown showing you exactly how to apply the strategies with entry, stops and take profits, as well as having me answering personally every question that you have every single day. So I really suggest you go and check out the program. The link is in the description and I will see you in.